and welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create multiple distance buffer in QGIS. So I'll be showing you the example for point, line and polygon. Before getting started, uh, we need to first install a plugin to perform multiple distance buffer. So go to the option plugins. Here select the option manage and install plugins. Once you have clicked it, you can see you can find the option search. Here we need to type in multi distance buffer. So you can just see here multi distance buffer. So I have already installed this plugin. You just have to install plugin. After that, it will be automatically available in the toolbar section so like this it will be there so this is the tool multiple distance buffer so just click once and here we are going to first look on the example of the point data here you can see add individuals so we, we are going to add individual for example I need the first uh, buffer to be 100 meters I'm going to add it after that I need a buffer of 150 meters I'm going to add it after that I need a buffer at 200 meters sorry 250 meters and finally a 300 meter buffer so you can just see here from the center of the point uh, the first buffer will be created 100 meters from the center of the point 100 meters the first buffer will be correct created from the center of the point at 150 meters another uh, uh, buffer will be created Likewise, it will be created one by one. So after doing it, you can see here if you want, uh, you can use the uh, segments to be appropriate. You, you can choose as uh, segments. So here I am just uh, leaving it to the standard uh, QGIS buffer option and click the option OK. So let me close this and uh, let me zoom into the point file. So you can see here. So let me bring on the point on the top so that it will be better to understand so you can see here if you want you can uh, select these segments uh, let me show you yeah here in the segments option you can uh, so after choosing and giving all this a uh, distance you can uh, uh, select the segments to appropriate you can increase the segments for example 15 20 so that the circle circle shape will be per, uh, perfect so that is the information which I like to give. So now, now let me uh, go to the option properties and let me symbolize this. Select symbology and here we are going to use the categorized and after selecting categorized, we are going to use the distance. So you can just check in over here. I'm just click on this buffer. After that, I'm doing these things. Now hit the button classify and I don't need the other values I need these values so I am going to apply it and give ok so now you can see let me show you the distance Yeah. so the first we have what we have given is from the point it is uh, around uh, 100 meters so you can check in so from the point the first buffer is 100 meters the second buffer is you can check in it is almost uh, yeah, 150 meters so here I'm just uh, uh, normally I'm measuring it. I'm not zooming it. Uh, that's why you can see the variation. Otherwise, the uh, buffer uh, distance will be accurate. It is accurate. Now let me measure the next buffer. So it is around 250 meters. So if you zoom in and measure it, the distance will be correct. So finally, we have created a 300 meter buffer from the point. So likewise. So let me show you the example for the point data also. So let me hide this buffer. Once again, click on this uh, point, sorry, uh, multiple uh, distance buffer. And now here, here we are going to select the line data. And after that, we are going to do the same thing. Here, for example, I need a buffer, the first bu buffer to be uh, constructed at 150 meters. After that, I need a buffer at 300 meters and finally I need a buffer at 500 meters add it and here if you want you can add the 
you can just switch on to these segments to appropriate approximate and let me give the uh, segments to 15 and now click the option ok so it has been constructed let me show you how it looks like zoom to layer now you can see here for line also the buffer has been created let me bring on the line on the top so let me change the color so that it will be easy so now you can see here in the you can see the line and you can see the multiple buffers you can easily ca categorize them the same thing which i shown you previously symbology single symbology here we need to select categorized and here uh, the value will be distance oh sorry i just uh, uh, we need to, we need to just uh, click on the buffer uh, properties and here symbology categorized so when you are creating the buffer itself you will be uh, uh, within the buffer you will be uh, getting the attributes here uh, we can select the distance and hit the button classify so we have uh, created three buffers and you can see these are the buffers i just want just want to remove this uh, other values if you want you can just select and remove the values if you don't need this value it has it doesn't have to be shown you can just select the layer and hit this button it will be removed now let me apply this and show you how it looks like you can see here this is the line so from here the first buffer has been created for 150 meters from the line uh, you can see another buffer of 100 sorry 300 meters finally from the line we have constructed a 500 meters buffer likewise you can create finally let me show you the example of polygon let me hide this hide the line and yeah once again click on the multiple distance buffer here we are going to select the option polygon after selecting the option polygon you can see add individuals so same thing here i am going to give 200 meter as the first uh, buffer after that i need a second buffer of 600 meters let me add it and after that i need a buffer at 800 meters so this is what i need i am going to add it and here if you want you can uh, select the segments to be appropriate approximate uh, let me leave it to 15 if you want more accurately you can increase the uh, numbers now hit the button ok so you can see here the buffer has been created for the polygon now let me bring a polygon on the top you can see here you can easily ca categorize them using the symbology so i don't have to show it uh, again and again so let's uh, let me open the uh, buffer and show you the attributes and what is the information present you can see for each of the polygons uh, you can see it has been given some distance we have given some distance from uh, 200 meters 600 meters 800 meters likewise you can see the attributes if you want you can save this uh, buffer also uh, you can export this buffer so right click on this buffer and go to the option export buffer save feature as and here you can specify the output location save it so select the coordinate system and hit the button ok so you can see here it has been automatically successfully exported so this is the exported feature so if you have any doubts in this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your question thanks for watching tower special goodbye everyone and please do subscribe our channel goodbye